Hello, today I'm going to show you how to reduce fractions. There is an example on the bottom of the board. Reducing fractions is when you reduce a fraction to its lowest terms. Let's try to reduce this fraction, 16 over 24. Step 1. Find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. The greatest common factor, or GCF, is the largest number that will divide into both the numerator and the denominator evenly. So for an example, the factors of 7 are 1 and 7. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. But in this case, the greatest common factor, or GCF, of both numbers is 1. Here I have written the factors of 16 and 24, the numerator and the denominator. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Here's a fact. The number itself is always one of its factors. Can you find the greatest common factor? Here it is, 4. Now that you have found your greatest common factor of both your numerator and your denominator, which in this case is 4, what do you do next? Well, you're going to have to use division. So you have your fraction. Divide your fraction by the greatest common factor that you found. So now, my fraction looks like this. 16 divided by 4 and 24 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4 and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So your new fraction should look like this, 4 over 6. But 4 and 6 can both be reduced even as they're both even numbers and not prime numbers. So repeat all the steps. Find the greatest common factor of 4 and 6. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. So as you can see, the greatest common factor of both numbers is 2. Now on to step 2, divide. Since we found out that the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 is 2, divide 4 by 2 and 6 by 2. So 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Since 3 is a prime number, it cannot be reduced anymore. So 2 over 3 will be your final answer. Let's try to reduce this fraction, 12 over 16. So here are the factors. Can you find the greatest common factor? Well, in this case, it's 4. So the fraction is going to be divided by its greatest common factor, which is 4. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So your new reduced fraction would be 3 over 4. Since 3 is a prime number and cannot be reduced anymore, this would be your final answer.